Hello my soccer universe, with Euro 2024 coming up, not only do I want to have a jersey for each team that has qualified, but you know for certain teams that I have in the, in, in, in the collection, it might be a good idea to also augment a little bit more. One of these teams is Turkey. I love this jersey. This is for me the best Turkey jersey that has been released in almost forever. Uh, as so many small details on, on there, it makes it for me the ideal Turkey jersey. It also has a design that is uh, very much uh, associated with Turkey. However, uh, for the last years, for instance, Turkey have released a home jersey with a very similar design as this one and then it ended up to be worn as an away jersey and they went for a red home jersey. They're doing similar things this time around as well. So it was clear to me, I probably should also look for an alternate Turkey jersey, a majority red one or a home jersey and you know, um, while there are many Turks or uh, people of Turkish descent are living here in Austria. Uh, finding Turkey jerseys is actually not that simple and if you find them they are very often fakes which is a, makes it a little bit more complicated the whole thing. Also the red Turkey jerseys rarely are inspiring. I know the compliment here is using the same design with the same chest band it's just red so it's kind of get the design gets a little bit lost although i think a jersey itself is fine the 2016 one had this crazy pattern in black that is almost the majority black jersey although it it is at least something interesting and is also inspired by ottoman architecture in 2018 they had this black collar and also a very interesting chest band so this was okay uh, and then we had the ones for Euro 2020, which I thought were all right. I mean, the last two red were always all right because they used a two-tone red, but nothing really exciting. I found one of these on Wilhaben and it came in a really nice package that I already pre-opened because believe me, A, I had to check it and I didn't have the time to shoot the video at the point, but this was a uh, bear to open. So let's open it straight up. It cost me, I want to say 20 euros plus shipping, so relatively cheap. So I'm very pleased with that. And let's reveal it. Which one is it? Is it 14, 16, 18, 20? When I show it to you, you will immediately know it. It's the 2016 one, the craziest one of them all. The one that has a lot of black in there. Funnily enough, and this one has a little bit of a smell. This, this, that, this definitely will get washed. I wonder even if this is a smoky smell. Yeah, could be, could not be, could be the back. Yeah, it's a little bit of a smoky smell. Don't like this one. I probably will hang this outside in the fresh air and then we'll wash it and then we'll get rid. You know, you'll, you'll, you'll get rid of this one. It's a crazy looking turkey jer uh, jersey, but I thought, you know, well, it's probably not my favorite. It is different and for that I chose it. It's also duty different that at Euro 2016 all the big Nike teams got those templated jersey and then uh, the one step below Croatia, Turkey and Poland got bespoke ones, especially Croatia and Turkey got the really interesting shirts. Uh, I will hang, hang, hang up and we'll be able to appreciate the pattern even more. I actually when I found one, when I had the seller sent me the uh, tag so I could uh, ver verify it all checks out. It says of course Turkey here on the back and I would say we'll hang it up and appreciate it from a little bit of a distance. Okay here it is. I mean I actually want to call this almost the Spider-Man jersey because of this netted effect in there and you see that the uh, lines get thicker and thicker the further down you go so it has this uh, gradient towards black that is very interesting and very unique so it's technically not a majority red jersey but it's definitely a home jersey for Turkey. The away jersey was also interesting in white and turquoise same pattern. Uh, it is a little bit out there. I gotta say, but I'm actually quite happy that I have it. The one thing I'm not happy is it really smells like smoke. So um, I always hate when this happens, but at least I have a Turkey jersey, a Turkey home jersey. Very pleased with that one. Still like that one a whole lot more. But this one, yeah, is also the Ottoman arc, arc, architecture. That's a difficult word to say, especially when you shoot late in the evening and you're already tired and want to relax uh, in there. So 
I actually like it for that as, as well. I have I have to say now that I have it and you know seeing it uh, from a distance, there's something really cool about this one. I wanna say this was debuted against Austria, but I'm not sure because Austria played in red at home, so I would be surprised if Austria would have had a white one, but you know, be it as it may. Turkey, check, we have a home and an away jersey. Let's see if Turkey will do better this time around. The last two Euros were rather meh, but at least Turkey is now qualifying with some regularity. Any case, please. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think about this jersey. Is it a good choice or not? And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.